Hello YouTube, this is my review of the CTOR Motion Sensor Light 16 LED Rechargeable Portable Night Light with Magnetic Strip. Okay, so inside the uh, CTOR Motion Sensor Light 16 LED Rechargeable Portable Night Light with Magnetic Strip, this is the box that it comes in. Okay, you open it up, it comes with directions. You have the main light, and it also, underneath this little cover box, comes with the USB charging cable. So that's pretty nice to have. Uh, you will need to provide the charger, but hopefully in this modern day and age of uh, cell phones, you would have a micro USB charger somewhere. So right now we're charging it, and you can see that it has a red light. Uh, it says in the directions that when the battery is fully charged, uh, the indicator light turns from red to blue. So that's what we're waiting for right now before I do my uh, complete review on this product. Uh, so we'll let it charge and we'll uh, do the review. So this is the sheet that came with it. Um, just to go over some of the features. It has automatic sensing. So it has like body motion sensing. And the light can turn on automatically under the auto mode. So there's different modes that you can put the light in. Uh, so again, you could have motion sensing, turn on the light. Um, it depends on the ambient light. And uh, when the light is under the on mode, it will be turned on once when you are 118 inches, which is probably about 10, a little over 10 feet. And uh, it's turned off in 15 seconds once you're out of the slightly more than 10 foot uh, sensing area. Okay, it has 16 bright and energy saving LED bulbs with a lifespan of 50,000 hours. Again, we, we are waiting for it to charge. You know it's rechargeable and that's how it works. It's a lithium battery inside and you charge it with the USB charger. And it has a detachable magnetic strip to mount the LED. All right, the way that they do this is they have 3M tape and that's the magnet and then it has a base on the back of it. Let me see if I can pull that off. It has a base on this. It's all magnets. So actually the metal is on the 3M side and the magnets on the bottom so that you can basically put this thing wherever you need it. And uh, it's going to hold pretty tight. That magnet's pretty strong. So it's not going anywhere. Okay. Uh, I have to agree with this. It does have an elegant and smart design. It's pretty small. It's scratch and shock, shock resistant. It's also uh, pretty decorative depending on where you put it. And uh, they just give you some ideas where you can put it in various locations, stairways, bedrooms, baby rooms, closets, cabinet, corridors, workshops, basement, kitchen, cabinet, coat, closer, headboard, and other places. Um, when I review this, I think I'm going to try it in the closet because I think that uh, I would do that for my own use. And then the specifications, you have sensitivity within, again, 118 inches, which is a little, uh, a little over 10 feet. Now, the sensor range is 120 degrees. By the way, the sensor is located right here in the middle of the light. And there's 16 LED bulbs. Okay. The color is cool white. The LED bulbs last, last about 50,000 hours. And it's 3.7 volts. It's a built-in lithium battery, which is 1 watt. All right. So, again, we'll go over the various modes here. It has an auto mode, an on mode, and a sleep mode, all controlled by a little switch on the side here okay I know you can't really read that but it has the words auto on and uh, all those words I said auto and on those are the two things right there so as soon as it charges fully we'll give it a review and uh, go from there all right other things that you want to take into account when purchasing this light is that when the battery is fully charged, uh, basically it will charge for two to three hours to be full and it'll, it'll enable the light to be on for about three hours nonstop. Uh, if you like to buy this light, by the way, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Buy it on Amazon. Uh, right now it's going for $15.99 for one, or you could buy a two pack for $20.49. So, um, well. I'm just waiting for it to charge. All right, it's all charged up. Uh, let's go over how to operate it. Okay, so I'm going to unplug it from the USB. And if you notice on the side here, 
it has the USB charger and on the other side it has an auto and an on switch again I'm gonna have too much light here but it says auto and on uh, right now it's pointing to on but as you can see it's not gonna stay on because there's a way of turning it off so first off let's go to on and just show you what it looks like it's it's really bright it's really bright so brightness really good for this thing um, and again that was just putting it on on so you can have it on a steady on by just clicking it the toggle switch to the on uh, to turn it off by the way you have to read the directions to do this so uh, if you want not to read directions you would have a difficult time turning this off so it doesn't run at all but what you do is you flip the switch back and forth four times within two seconds and let me try that again so one two and if you notice it stays off and we're kind of in a dark place right now. It's not totally dark, obviously, but the motion sensor is not working. This is the motion sensor right here. So if you want to run it on motion sensor, you want to leave it on auto. But seeing that I turned it off, I have to flip it on and then on auto. And then if you notice, it'll work as a motion sensor. Uh, let's see how long it stays on with the motion sensor. It's supposed to be 15 seconds. There we go. All right, let's go try this in a dark hallway. I know I said I was going to do a closet eventually, which is what I would probably use it for. But let's go check this out in the hallway uh, as kind of like a nightlight. All right, so we're in a dark hallway. That would be a normal nightlight right there, by the way. Just plugged into the wall. Uh, I have it down on the left, so I'm going to walk towards my master bedroom. And it's set to auto. So let's see if it turns on. Oh, there we go. It's pretty bright. Now I'm going to back up and show you how bright this light is in the hallway. And I'm still going. So as you can see, it's, it's a pretty bright light. I'm almost all the way down the hallway right now. And it lights up pretty much the door and uh, even tops of the ceilings and stuff. So it's a really, really bright light. So now let's put it in a closet and see how it does in the closet. All right, so there's the linen closet. Uh, the sensor this time is pointing right at me in the closet so as soon as I open it it should turn on and again I'm going to turn the light off I'm going to go towards the closet and open it to get something and look at that as soon as I open up the door it's uh, wicked bright and can light up the whole closet so it is extraordinarily bright and an awesome light uh, again it all depends on where you mount it if you want to mount it here or on the side that's going to be kind of tough because you have to have the motion sensor so it's better to try to do it from the front but look if you have one of these shelving units just put it right in front you're not going to use the front of the shelving unit anyways unless you hang like something with a coat hanger or i mean dare say you could put it up here on the top of the door jam and have it just come down from there but uh it's all about the motion sensor and again if uh you can also have do manual on and off operation and again, the other great thing is that this back comes off, so you can pop it off to go charge it, and it will just stick up there with the magnets. So the only thing you have to mount is this part with the tape. Just leave it right there. You go charge it, you bring it back, and uh, I mean, it gives you three hours of charge. So if you're doing 15 second intervals, it's going to give you a lot of uh, light options there. So yeah, overall, it's a, it's a great light. Uh, can be used in many applications. I mean, you, closets, uh, you can use it in hallways as nightlights if you really want to. Um, you could probably use it outside. I couldn't see why you couldn't use it outside. The only thing I would say is that you probably couldn't put it in the rain, obviously. So it would have to be covered outside to use this. Uh, I'm really thinking you might even possibly, as long as you keep away from the heat, use it as a grill light. I mean, there's so many applications with this light. So that was my review of the uh, C-Tour. Uh, motion sensor uh, 16 LED light and if you'd like to purchase the uh, C tour motion sensor light 16 LED rechargeable uh, light with magnetic strip please check my description below I um, left a link and uh, it will help me out with my channel and uh, have a great day